I'm Jerry Ward, 63 years old, and I sustained spinal injury 15 and a bit years ago. Prior to my injury, I was reasonably fit and well, and throughout my time prior to commercial flying, uh, I was in the RAF for 20 years. But the thrill of speed was uh, was always there, and that never went away right, uh, right up until my very last flights in the RAF. Been for a run in the morning in Mexico, and then in the afternoon before joining the rest of the crew, I went for a swim in the sea, and as I came out of the water, a freak wave smashed me face forward into the water, and my C4 vertebrae exploded into a hundred pieces. A very large fragment of that severed more than 70% of the spinal cord. When the wave hit me, it knocked me face forward into the water, and I knew straight away I'd broken my neck. Uh, I could just see my arms and legs dangling beneath me and I was drowned and unconscious when I was pulled out of the water and resuscitated on the beach. Because of my uh, level of disability, I'm very susceptible to autonomic dysreflexia. So I need complete management of all of my body, body functions, everything that goes in, everything that comes out, my breathing function, my chest function. So it really is 24 hour care that I have. And most people take the fact that they can get up in the morning and go and have a poo uh, for granted. Uh, for those of us with spinal injury, particularly those with higher level spinal injury, it's much more difficult than that. And I need physical intervention with my, by my carers to help me uh, go to the toilet. But without that care, you'd have virtually no quality of life. And if you were constantly worried about having a bowel accident, you'd never want to leave your home. You'd never want to go to the pub for a beer with your mates to go out and watch the football. It is very, it's very personal to me and it's very invasive, uh, but it also requires quite serious specialist training for the carers. And sadly, my local general hospital, they don't have any staff that are qualified to complete that care. And that was brought home to me on my most recent visit there, which was last August, September time, when the ward sister, the ward manager, uh, was chatting with me and she said there is nobody within the trust that can complete that part of my care so I was kind of left there for several days without any proper care of my bodily functions and we ended up getting me discharged back to home so that my carers could take care of me because they were able to provide a better standard of care and more complete care than was available in the local general hospital. To be feeling vulnerable is all wrong. It's all wrong. To maintain any kind of quality of life, uh, never mind quantity of life, the basic aspects of one's care need to be addressed. And that means catheter management, bowel management and skin management. And without that, one's life is really reduced to, well, I don't really feel like it's a good idea to even get out of bed today. So you end up on yet another day of bed rest. There's a lot that goes wrong when you get admitted to a local hospital, but not being able to take a dump uh, under any kind of control is a real, real problem. It needs to be addressed. It needs to be sorted out. It really is serious.